This is a video by Richpin. Today we're working on a Saturn S series. Have you ever had this problem? Take your key, put it in, and you didn't hear that noise. Now with the door open, you should hear this noise. That's the chime module. And if you didn't hear the noise, it could be faulty. And another thing for a faulty chime module is a defroster doesn't work. So we're going to get in there and we're going to show you where it is and how to replace it. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the negative battery cable from the battery. Next thing we need to do is to go inside the car and remove this panel right here which is on the left side of the console. It's held on by a little velcro fastener so we just grab the front of it like this and just pull it right out like that. Now after you get the panel off you'll see this orange piece right here. That is the chime module. So now that we know where it is, let's remove it. Next thing we need to do is to find the little lock that is underneath the module. And we need to go in with a screwdriver and push down on it like that and now we can pull the module out. Okay let's take the module out now. Okay there it is. There is the chime module. Now, what can go wrong on these is the pins can corrode. So you want to look very closely at those pins. And a lot of times, just unplugging this module and plugging it back in will cure all your problems. If not, I would go to the junkyard, pick up a spare, and try that. So, this one right here, the pins look good. It's been working properly anyways, but uh, you can use some contact cleaner in there, clean it up if it's dirty. And when you're done, just put the module in. You hear that little click? That was the little lock locking it in place. So that's all there is to removing and replacing the Chime module on your Saturn S series.